that's a big log. We'll put the tape measure on it when we get back to the sawmill. Alright, we got a white ash log on the mill, and you can obviously see it's been killed by the emerald ash borers. I got it out of the, uh, my dad's woods this winter, dragged it out on the snow, and it is the biggest ash butt log of all of the 20 logs I got out last this last winter. And Oh, let me grab the tape. So it's an eight foot log and it's uh, it's measuring 23 inches across on the small end and that scales out to 185 board feet using the international quarter inch rule. So we're gonna saw this up into one inch boards and <laughs> the horses are playing over here, can you? See them? Oh, now they're not gonna. They're not gonna. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna saw the log. This log up to, into one-inch boards, and then we'll scale out to see if we, if there's any overrun, uh, if we get more than 185 board feet. Now this log is a little intimidating because it's the biggest one, but I, you know, I'm just gonna start into it. We're going to cut it into chunks and when the chunks get smaller it becomes less intimidating so i'm not sure i'm not sure if i can normally i would uh would take a cut off the top to even it out because there's a lot of butt swell down there which is going to turn be turned into slabs to put in a slab pile and i would normally cut it in half uh, we're gonna see if the sawmill can do that. I put a brand new blade on the mill and uh, We're gonna have to do some measuring to make sure we don't get stuck at, down near the end and not be able to complete the cut All right, that's the plan. I might have to just uh, go all the way around on uh, four sides and cut the butt swell off and Then it'll be small enough to actually cut into quarters all right, let's uh, let's start because it's not going to get done by just sitting on the mill.
this thing so dull. I gotta sharpen the saw. Hold All right, let's try this again. Alright, the saw should now be able to get by. All right, so I have actually taken all the taper off of the four sides, which gets it down to a small enough size where I can actually now cut it in half and start the quarter sawing process. I thought I'd turn the mill off just to show you what, this is the first cut right down the center. So look at all, it's all clear. And uh, 
we should be getting you know it would be nice if this was all white and i'm not sure if that is a direct correlation to being killed by the emerald ash borer that the only the a little bit of the sapwood is white but we're going to uh saw it up and yep i had to put the half of it on the tractor because i think half of it on the loader arms out here is just too much weight so i'll lift the loader arms up and we'll take that half off or that quarter off and we'll start sawing I was supposed to put the loader arms up. Oh well. All right, this is where we ended up with this pile here on the top so it's four feet wide and eight feet long and most of the way through I, I was like why does this seem awful thick 
And I think the scale, there's an adjustment on the scale that, that I need to adjust because these are all like an inch and an eighth, which is not what I wanted, but too late now, they're all about an inch and an eighth. So it scaled out as um, 185 board feet using the international quarter inch rule. And I got 208 board feet. So it's an overrun of 23 board feet. Um, and it probably would have been a little bit more. See, I think that this scale here is bent. And when I go down to the one, uh, can you see that? <clears throat> I think this is bent. So when I visually sight the one, it's actually uh, like an inch and a sixteenth or an inch and an eighth. So this thing needs to be tweaked. I was also looking at this. Why is that not horizontal? I'm going to have to do some gazintering to get this thing figured out. But it doesn't really matter. Um, it just means I have to plane off more and make more shavings for the horse's stalls. But anyway, that's that one log. It's now in uh, board form. And I am going to go eat lunch. So <laughs> thanks for sticking around uh, and watching the video. Uh, if you like this stuff, consider subscribing. And uh, it's a bunch of other, I think, are interesting videos that are out there that I've put out. So. There's more sawing, and if the weather ever cooperates, there's more work on the garage. So there you go. Thanks again for watching.